What made you want to start the company? Are you a cookie dough fanatic and we're just looking for a healthier option? I guess just like a bunch of things. I've always been really passionate about better for you foods. And in 2018, like I got pretty involved in the fitness industry. I competed in bodybuilding competitions. So I would take my favorite sweet recipes and like manipulate them and make them healthier. So I would do this with everything, including cookie dough. And I saw a hole in the market here in Canada. Like we don't have my product. So that's why I created it. It's also a super nostalgic treat for me too. I've always wanted to enter a bodybuilding competition. Just kidding. I've never have, but I would if I could eat whatever I want. Cause all my friends who have done it, they're always complaining. They're always like, it's just chicken and broccoli and it's steamed and they're dying for flavor. Cause you have to stick to the super strict regimen in order to see the results, which makes total sense. But I like that. I like that your approach was, let me make something that's not so healthy, healthy. As you were doing it, when did you start to maybe realize like, okay, I'm onto something. My friends like it. I like it. When was that? What were the signals that you said, okay, let's, let's launch into maybe making this a real thing. Yeah. So I never envisioned myself being an entrepreneur ever. Like I would just, it was a hobby for me, like making like these healthier versions of my favorite sweet treats and putting them on Instagram. And I started to get a following and I had people like recreate them and post them and tag me and people would message me and ask me if I would ever sell them. And I was like, no, this is just a hobby for me. Like, I don't really see a business out of it. And then I went backpacking across Southeast Asia for four months and I started meeting entrepreneurs from all over the world. And at that moment I was like, Hey, like this is totally doable. I never was exposed to this lifestyle growing up in a really small town. So I was like, okay, like got home, sat down with myself, saw yeah, a need for the, my product in the market here in Canada. And it's something I'm extremely passionate about. And I launched it several months later. Cause I kind of sat on it because it's kind of scary when you launch your business and you hit publish on that on your Shopify store, you're like, Oh God, it's real. Like, what are my parents going to think? What are my friends going to think? Like I told my parents, I remember like sitting in my dad's living room and I was like, this is what I'm going to launch. Like I showed him the logo, like the name. And he's like, what? <laughs> he's like, you're going to launch a cookie dough company. And I'm like, yeah. And it's going to work. And like, he didn't really understand it for the longest time until like these past few months when I told him what my sales were. And he was like, huh, people are actually buying it. And I was like, yeah, it's, it's a business dad. <laughs> When you were there with these entrepreneurs, what was it that made you think, oh, this is achievable? Was it that they were just like you? Like there was nothing magical about these individuals on this hike, right? Because I think a lot of people like almost with NBA players or people that are seemingly successful, the illusion of success, we always concoct this notion that, oh, this person must be super intelligent or went to this super amazing school or is already sitting on boatloads of money or has a trust fund or whatever idea people put out there. And then you meet some of them and like, at least for me, I'll be candid with you. I met a bunch of entrepreneurs that have sold their companies for like $900 million. And I was like, that guy's kind of dumb. I'm like, how the heck did he do that? And it was this moment of like, if this guy can do this and it, you know, that sounds wrong, but that's, that was like literally how I felt. And then it became entrepreneurship became super approachable all of a sudden. Yeah, no, 100%. Like, I can totally understand that. For me, like imposter syndrome, like it's, it's always there for me. Like it just gets quieter and I learn how to deal with it better. But like, yeah, I felt super underqualified and like meeting all these different people, hearing their stories. I'm like, this person is, I'm just as qualified as this person to run a business. So why don't I? And I think like the aha moment was like, I don't know, seeing people and seeing how excited they were and passionate they were about what they were doing. And I was like, hey, you don't have to hate your your work life. Like you can mix your passion with business and like actually enjoy working, which is something that I've never done before. 